Hey everyone, and welcome back. Another quick tutorial, quick modeling tutorial for you. Uh, last time we did the minifig torso. Now we're going to work on the head really quick. Uh, so same idea as last time. Same idea as last time. We're just going to import the Eldraw head, which I have right here, and we will base our head off of this. Uh, now you could use a picture as well, uh, something like this, that's not exactly dead on, but you could use something like that for doing your modeling reference. The Eldraw head is good enough though, I'm just going to use that. Uh, the reason why we're going to remodel it is there's just a few areas where we can add a little bit of detail. Um, and just to get just to get the shading and stuff uh, really quite nice. So that's uh, that's the reason. Now, so what I did there was I just selected these vertices at the bottom here, Shift S, cursor to select it. Now we're going to go to top view, Shift A, and add a circle. We're gonna scale the circle uh, just like that. Now we'll extrude. Uh, sorry, go into edit mode, select all the vertices, and you'll extrude and just drag it up there. Get it as lined up as possible, not to be too picky. And then we'll just uh, keep doing the same thing. Just a lot of extruding at this point. Uh, scale up. And then another extrude. Um, I'm just hitting the right mouse click to unselect and then just dragging straight up. Um, and we're going to go back in a little bit to add a few more vertices. Just kind of round these a little bit more, but for now we're just going to uh, go through it really quick. And then just drag it up there. Really quite simple. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that our circle that we're extruding here has more vertices than the L draw. Oh yeah, so we just have a already a more detailed model going on here. Now we'll just uh, finish it on up. And just one more. Now if you look up top here, we kind of come to a section where um, you can see it kind of a flat section basically. So, and then we go back up. One final extrude, and then we'll make the little stud. And then extrude it down inward, oops, like that. Now there's this little bar thing here but instead of uh, instead of remaking it, we'll just steal Eldraw's version because it seems to do the job quite fine. No, no point in redoing it. So duplicate that, and then just 
this W, select inverse, and delete the faces, and then we'll move this to the second layer, and we'll move this to the second layer. So this is the um, LDRAW model, and this is the model that we've been working on. Okay, so a couple of adjustments to make. Um, well, first thing first, why don't we just go and make it just a slightly more detailed. So we'll go to Edge Selection, and then we'll use our um, Loop Cut, Control R, and we'll just make a few cuts. So we'll go like this, and then S just to scale it up a bit. That one was probably overkill, but well, yeah. And it was really subtle, but giving it quite a bit more detail. Um, one of the things we'll do is we'll compare vertice count between our version and the LDRAW version because that is important when you're rendering. The more vertices you have, the more information, and the longer the render times. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not going to worry about that one there. Okay, now uh, let's go back to our reference picture here. One of the things you'll notice is that the top of the studs here are rounded. So why don't we add that in? Again, Control R for our loop cut, and we'll just go like so. I mean, it's pretty significant the round. You can you can tell that's rounded there, so it doesn't have to be too. Yeah. And then we're going to hold down Alt and select these vertices. Alt is the Alt, and then right click is Loop Select, and we'll just uh, scale it down a little. So that's rounded now. Now another thing here is this ridge. There's no ridge here at the bottom, but up here there's like a little indent. So again using control R, make a cut there. And we'll go all the way up there. Then hold down A to deselect, hold down Alt. Hmm. Oh, there we go. And then we'll just scale a little. Not too much, but enough so that it's visible. And that's quite visible. Another thing we could do, I think that's a bit too much to be honest with you. So I think another thing we can do is we can select these guys. And just scale them up just a touch. Scale them up just a touch. There we go. Now that's quite visible. You know, I think it's too visible. It's too much. Let's just bring it down just a little bit. That should be good. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a subtle effect. Let's add some smooth fa uh, shading. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of divide this model up a little bit. So we're going to select these guys. And... these sections as well and then we're going to go to face mode we're going to duplicate the model delete these faces and W select inverse and delete these faces the reason why is we're going to add some subdivision to this part um, 
Another thing we want to do is we want to make this section, the shading should be flat. Delete those, that material. Um, do the same thing down here. This will just make things easier when we add our subdivision. Uh, we didn't really extrude this at all. So I guess maybe we should do that. Just to make them all look complete. Uh, let's actually compare vertices at this point. So here there's 465 vertices. Here there's 846. So fairly significant. Uh, double. This, you know, you don't really see much of a change. But it has double the amount of vertices. So that's pretty significant. Um, okay, so let's just... <clears throat> Let's just extrude this, scale it down, it's right about there, yep, and then extrude again, drag it up, there we go, then what we can do is we can select all these faces, you can just shift D, delete these faces, Select the inverse, delete these faces, and there we go. Vertice count is going up. Okay, now here we're going to add our subdivision, which adds, puts our vertices up to 2700, um, which again is very significant, but that is really the best model minifig head that you'll be able to get. And really, the minifig head is the most important part. Well, let's add some flat shading down here. Should be flat. Yeah, so really, that's as good as you're going to get now. This can be toggled on or off, whether or not you want it or not. Um, it's overkill, but it looks good. It does look good. So, you can delete this. And I'll save this. And let's just take a look at uh, what it looks like. Uh, that's a previous attempt I tried, so we'll just uh, bring it in here. There it is. materials and I have a slightly nicer material already created so we'll just use that uh, eventually I'll do a tutorial on what materials to use what material settings but as for now just follow along and there we have it like I mean I don't think you're gonna get a much better looking you can, you can mess around with different things. Normally they're going to have hair on, so you won't even see half of what we did. But really the next part is texturizing it with the faces. So yeah, pretty simple, but worth it. Anyways, that's uh, the end of this tutorial. Probably not going to do any modeling for a little bit. We're ready to get on to some other topics. So, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching, guys.